Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 4th, 5th, and 6th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Cancers. Hello, my Cancers. How are you? Wow, what a week you've had. Well, you know the drill. This is my Friday, Saturday, Sunday reading. So I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, okay, <laughs> remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, I was able to catch one of the cards, and the other card is on the floor, so I will. I pulled the third card out, so let's go here. Oh, actually, we have two cards on the floor. So we're going to put these, we're going to put these up, face up. So let's see what we have here. And I did pull then a fourth card, and that's okay. We're not putting that one away. So four cards. The first is reversed and face down, and the fourth is face down. Uh, the, and it's only the first that is reversed right now. So let's see. Oh, there you're, you're thinking. You are just thinking, thinking, thinking. And actually, these, no, I think that this is the right order for this, but I am seeing these two cards. And I want to, let's go, let's address these two first, the, the second and the third card. Because the first card is, oh, please, I'm not going to tell you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It's really important. It helps to support my channel, and it gives me the encouragement I need to continue. So thank you. So this is the eight of air, okay? And air energy is, of course, our Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and it's our thoughts. It's those things, you know, it's those those things that just kind of get in our head. It, and, you know, it's those, it's those thoughts that, you know, many times over my cancers, you need to try to push away. You know, I am somebody that says, you know, sometimes you just have to look at it, you have to take it in, and you have to look in it. But this one, I think you really need to just kind of push away because I feel that for this weekend, for this weekend, this is a thought, you know, that could feed your negativity, okay? And, you know, and, and it really hit me the other day, I was commenting, you know, negativity is like black mold, okay? It's like black mold. It is dangerous and it is unhealthy. So with this, with this energy, this is an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. And yes, the, you, know, you know, you have reason I should, oh, let me work this right. There are reasons that your self-confidence is lacking. It is not so much that you don't have the abilities as is that you have just been, and again, this is not happening now. This is that past, okay? And this is when I say a lot of times that when we're triggered, we don't trigger with what we know now. We trigger with what we experienced in the past. So there was, a, there was a lot of mental abuse for somebody out there, a lot. And when these triggers are triggered, you know, it can take you to a different place. I'm going to say you have learned, you have worked so much on, you know, on getting to these next steps. Push that away because that's not on you. That's on the per that person or that situation or that job or that relationship, okay? Because even though this is happening, this is what's happening also. Okay, the ten of air, because this is more the truth of the weekend. This is more the truth of the situation, and this is remember tens are transitional cards. So something is completing, and this is getting you ready for that next stage. So this is the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. Expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Now. You know, I tell people, you know, so, you know, I'm an intuitive channeler, so I hear things and things that come out of my mouth, um, you know, m maybe for just even one person, and then, you know, that reaches it. Many people tell me that the cards actually give the message that they needed for that time, and that's fine. That is all good. So now, this, these are the two cards that are face down. Let's see what this one is, the one that's reversed. So let's see, the Four of Water. Okay, the Four of Water. Miss, and this one fell out also. Missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibility. Okay, and that to me goes along with what we were talking about with this. 
it's not so much that you're, you know, it, I mean, you could be bored. You know, you're very, very um, intelligent. You're very, you know, you do like that, you know, a, you know, we all like, we all like having that newer stuff happening for us and such like that. But the thing is, it's the opening your eyes, opening your eyes, see the reality of the picture, okay? See what your play, you know, now, even though I've been talking about, you know, whatever that situation was, see your part in it, okay? See your part in it and see where you are with that. Okay, whoever needed that. And your last card, awakening, awakening. So these, all of these three, do get you to this point. So this is Archangel Gabriel. This is an Archangel, and this is the one that I pulled out because I said, you know, I thought we only had the three. I'm glad I did because this is Major Arcana, very strong energy, awakening. You know, I'm almost feeling like this is like, you know, the, um, you know, and it's not, life is not a fairy tale, but this is almost like the fairy tales we were told when we were children. And, you know, and then when, when the princess awakens, it's like, oh my goodness, it's a new dawn, a new day, it's new life, new, 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 okay? But part of this message is also by looking at things differently. Looking at things, it's, it, and again, this is, so this is going to be an interesting weekend for you, my Cancers. And at the end of it all, whatever you do experience through this weekend, take those experiences and really look at them you know, with the um, with the new okay, whoever this with the new paradigm that you have created. Okay, so this is look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So yeah, this this is this is kind of that energy. It's kind of a little bit of old triggers, new reactions, old triggers, healthy reactions. Okay, but at the end of it all, you can see how well you got through it, okay? Does that mean it might be a rough weekend? It could be, it could be, but actually I feel a very strong calmness here. I actually feel that you, you know, that it's almost like, no, you know, you're, I'm, not, I'm not allowing that to affect me emotionally. I'm not, you're still pulling on kind of that colder pattern that I've been talking about with you, and you're kind of saying, I'm not allowing it to. The, you know, I can see where I allowed it. And, you know, and I can see where some, somehow you did, may, may not have even had a choice because it was so pushing on you. But it's like, no, I'm not allowing it anymore. Okay? So it's a really good, it's a good awakening um, energy for you, my Cancers. And I really hope that, um, I hope that, you know, that if you have been in a rougher situation, and I know many of my Cancers have, that this is, you know, because it's really, it's really going into a really mental health, a really healthier, emotional health, all of this. It's, it's, yeah, it's really a healthier um, response to a relationship's negative energy. Okay? Okay. So, my Cancers, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.